Good morning, Teacher Sheila. This is my science experiment video for my performance task two. This is about our lesson on how you can tell which materials are useful and which are harmful. There are a lot of materials around our house that we can find. These materials can be useful or can be harmful. A material is useful if it can be beneficial to humans or the environment. One example is water. Water is a very useful material that can be used to mix different substances. Other examples of useful materials are bags, combs, pencils, and clothes. than good that can be obtained from it. For example, batteries can provide energy to different kinds of equipment, but the contents of battery is harmful. Other examples are scissors, knives, and glass if broken. But remember, some useful materials can also bring hazards, like the saucepan. It is a good conductor of heat. It is very useful in cooking. It can be harmful if not properly used while cooking. You can be burned. Zonox bleach is an agent for cleaning and disinfectant. It is useful for laundry and disinfection. It can be harmful to humans if ingested or inhaled or if it stays on the skin for too long. Burning of plastic releases poisonous chemicals that make the air becomes polluted. Polluted air causes lung cancer and other respiratory disease. Instead of burning plastic, people are encouraged to recycle and it into useful things like pencil case, flower base, so that it can be useful to anybody without causing harm in the environment. Always remember that we should always act responsible for the waste that we use and we must be careful in handling any materials. That's all. Have a good day. Thank you.